taste. So I seriously never thought if that this day would really come, but my loot crate shipments finally arrived. I have to admit, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised because my greatest fear was that they would just never come and I would never get a refund. <laughs> like, seriously. Um, so a long, long time ago, I ordered the, um, I can't remember the name now, uh, Lumos and Knox, which I love the theme, back in September. And I remember I just got a new job and I was like, oh, that's not very interesting. I have to order it. I'm pretty sure that's this box they came together. Um, and then I stayed for the holiday box, which is what also sounded amazing. And that was the Christmas holidays and Valentine's has already passed and we're about to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So to say it's a little late is an understatement. However, I'm actually trying to not hate on those boxes because it's just too easy. <laughs> and I, it's always annoyed me when people come down on things when everybody else does. Because it's just too easy. And as a matter of fact, I, in the past, um, Word on Streets, they've switched, the company switched hands. So I, I don't know much about that. But um, in the past, I've quite enjoyed the items that have come in here. Um, most of them I have in storage because it didn't move, but I'm looking forward to getting those things back. I was thought they were very interesting um, and I've enjoyed what I've gotten so far. So I'm going to try to overlook the fact that they are so late because it's just a little too easy to, you know, harp on that fact. So I'm going to try to avoid that and I'm sure there are plenty of other people doing things like that. I think the shirt actually came from there as well. It's a Hogwarts with the Four Houses shirt. Um, and I'm pretty sure they came from one of these boxes. And I really have to say, I've got some amazing stuff from them. Um, to name a few, I've got like a Wizards Welcome Muggles Tolerated Light sign that flips back and forth, which I quite enjoy. Um, and a Gryffindor pocket watch, which like was an actual watch so I, and their pens I thought were really really amazing there was a Horcrux series I actually didn't get all of them because I didn't start in the beginning um and there was a black family tapestry with it, it I think it was a scarf and it had like you know the the face and turned up and I didn't get that but I wish I would have so I just want to say that I despite being so late I think this company has put on out some pretty cool items that's that. So I want to try to judge everything according to the merit of the items and try to just overlook the fact that it has been so late. Okay. Which the, honestly, the Lumos and Knox doesn't really, it doesn't affect me the way that the holiday one does for obvious reasons because you know, holiday, holiday already passed and probably won't really get a chance to use these items until next year, which is a little ways away. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a Lumos and Knox, and that's a really cool picture. And I believe you're supposed to be able to like flip these boxes inside out and like make like a little diorama type thingy. I feel like I've done that before. Like I had one with a picture of Hogwarts and like you could flip inside out and have like a reflection of the water on the, like, the bottom of the box. That was pretty cool. I'm not sure but I feel like these are a wee bit smaller than they used to be. I've been watching Outlander. It's getting easier to say wee. Okay. Alright, I see a t-shirt. Everything for me is going to be Gryffindor because that is my house. I've got a little bit of Ravenclaw in me but my personality is definitely more Gryffindor. All right, I like that Gryffindor Ryan. And I wanna say, I think I read somewhere that this is supposed to be a uh, glow in the dark. I don't know, I'm not really, I'm not sure. I don't, cause I feel like glow in the dark is usually like kind of like a greenish type color. I don't really see that. Maybe, maybe it's like the 
it seems like it has constellation on it already or something. Maybe that like yellowish color or in the dark. We'll see. Okay, uh, it's a little pouch. Order of the Phoenix. And let's see. I think this baby is reversible. I have no patience, so um, they actually sent us a like a spoiler page of everything that's going to be in here. It's always kind of different, like actually seeing and touching the thing yourself. But, okay. And so the pouch isn't quite as nice when you flip it inside out. Like, honestly, it very clearly seems to be meant to be used the other way. But this does have the, uh, the dark mark on it. That's cool. Um, just because the pouch doesn't really seem to... Like being flipped inside out. I'm just gonna keep it like this, and I kind of enjoy the pattern more. It's just kind of like pretty. That's fine. Um. Oh, this is heavy. Ooh, Dumbledore dome paperweight. Oh, see, that's cool. Okay. See, I'm trying to keep everything in chance. I mean, this was supposed to come in September, or I think like. Like when I ordered it, because um, I think the holiday box was supposed to arrive. That was supposed to be the November box. I don't know. I'm gonna try to overlook the date. It's all good. Try to be positive. At least I'm getting the items. Honestly, I thought I was like never gonna see them. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, I don't know if it's like a reflection coming from somewhere else in my room, but it's like reflecting off of this. That's really cool. I like that. I almost thought there was like a light inside of it, but I think it's like reflecting off of something. Yeah. Yeah, if there's no light like reflecting on it, it's totally dark, which is kind of cool. Like you almost can't read it, and then when it hits the light, it kind of like illuminates, which kind of like... That fits well with the theme of the box. And this probably like my favorite quote from the series. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only if one only remembers to turn on the light. Dumbledore. And I have a pretty big desk um at work and I it's I will definitely put this on my desk. And I heard someone say who uses paperweights anymore. I I can actually use one. I have a lot of paper on my desk. I work in education. So I actually really like that. I really do. Um I like the quote. I think it's pretty. I like the way it catches the light. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan. Um, I I know I've, I've heard people using some pretty harsh words with this box i mean it it's disappointing no no doubt like from my understanding the company went bankrupt which was part of the reasons i thought i was like never gonna see my stuff that i paid for and then another company bought them and then they were trying to get stuff out the only thing i would say really honestly annoyed me is that they kept like pushing the date like they said that both these boxes were coming in december and then january <laughs> February. I was like, mm -hmm. like I kind of just wish they would have said, oh, by the way, oh, and it, we didn't never got like a notification email. At least I didn't. We got one very very recently, but like all this time passed, and it was never like, by the way, <laughs> like in all honesty, I would have rather they sent an email saying, uh, for like circumstances beyond our control. Uh, we have had to declare a bankruptcy. Um, we know it's going to be inconvenience for you, but have no fear. Like we're being bought by another company, and they intend to fulfill your orders. And we expect them to be significantly late, probably like you know three, four months, maybe longer. And it's a bi-monthly box, so it's like you kind of expect it a little more time. I would have preferred that they would have dealt with it in that way but they didn't but you know I got my box so I'm like honestly I feel like things could have been worse okay that's really pretty um this is from the fantastic beast who went 
Akami, I guess is how you pronounce it. Their pens are off the hook. Um, they have a whole series of the Horcruxes, and I really wish I would have been able to get the entire series. I think I have like half of them, but I came in to it a, a little on the late side. I'm always, like, whenever there's a Harry Potter series, I always, like, come into it super late. There's, like, three subscription services that are all doing, like, a theme of each book at a time. And I'm, like, I caught it on, like, book seven of all of them. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so this is a journal. And this is the Crimes of Grindelwald. Okay, I have to admit the first time I saw the first fantastic... Beast movie, the one takes place in New York. It's kind of like, eh. Like the time period's kind of cool, but it's no Harry Potter. That was like my original feeling. Um, okay. I have to say I'm a bigger fan of the second film that takes place in Paris. I just thought it was more interesting. Ooh, ooh I like it. I like it. Oh, I like the way everything's like reflecting the light so well. Isn't that pretty? What? I like the second movie better, and when I heard Johnny Depp was playing Grindelwald, I was trying to like, eh. and then I saw the film, and I I think he actually did a really nice job. I really do. I'm not just saying that because like I want to like it and it's Harry Potter. Like I actually, I thought he did a really, really nice job as that character. I really do. Um, yeah, it's it started growing me more. The Fantastic Beast series. That is so pretty. And I love the Elder Wand. Like I'm honestly a little obsessed. Like after trying to. Like hearing the whole story about it, like I seriously, I was still in Orlando at the time. I like bought the Elder Wand at a Universal series. It's one of the longest wands. It's like you gotta be ready for that wand. It's like a small wand. <laughs> okay, so these are like black, like silky pages. So I'm, I think this is gonna be like a gel pen. I don't really want to write on it right this second, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is all about, though. Isn't it pretty? I love the way it like it's really pretty. I love the way it's like actually picked up and tarnished too. Okay, I like that. I'm a fan. I don't know. I know it's like five months late, but I'm a fan. Okay, um House Ghost Charm is coming soon. Okay, so we've gotten these before where like the one item didn't come. I know people were complaining about that, but so yeah, I guess I'm do a headless snick something or other. That's cool. I really like the paper weight. I thought it was really cool. It's so heavy too. I, don't know, I love when I get like something substantial in one of those boxes. It's so cool. Okay, so that was I was actually <laughs> I was actually pretty impressed with that. That was the Lumos Snox uh, box. I love the theme. I really really love the theme. Um, Prisoner of Azkaban has always been my favorite it just it's near and dear to my heart and um like i remember like that the, that spell was first introduced in that that part of the series so yeah okay and i studied latin that day so that's another thing okay so i'm pretty sure this is the holiday box and this is a little sticker okay it, i think it was like holidays at hogwarts and like at least i was trying to imagine it's kind of like you know you're harry and you're spending the holidays there you didn't go home. I had to do like a party thing that like spending the, the holidays at Hogwarts or something. That'd be cute. Okay, I was kind of like, it's kind of expecting a holiday themed um, box design, honestly, because I think all their other previous boxes have been that way. So this is honestly a little disappointing, especially for the holiday one, but I guess they were kind of like ship it out in time. I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the Harry and Wand sweater theme. I think it's a pillow. Yes, it's a holiday pillow. It's a little bit squished. I guess I can like take it to take out its wrapping. I 
mean, I like the idea of it. And it is kind of nice, by the way, because so many other boxes aren't. This stuff is actually licensed. They actually use the name Harry Potter and the actors likeness and uh, the, the house names and stuff like that. Because a lot of these boxes can't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, so you got the H for Harry. It's got kind of like the, the sweater yarn design on it and the R for Ron. This is like one thing I've never actually gotten. Like, I have so much Harry Potter stuff, but I've never actually gotten anything with, like, the sweater design. I know they sell sweaters at Universal Studios. I don't know. I feel like this kind of satisfies, like, my need for a Harry Ron sweater. So I like this. I, I don't even think you really need it for the holidays. Like, if I was about to put on my bed pack for this one. I get annoyed when people just like need to be so negative. Like, I get it, I do. Okay, what's this? Hogwarts Horse. Hogwarts Horse. Hogwarts House Holiday Plateau. That's interesting. Oh, I see something really cute in here that they're actually doing really like. Okay, so I think, I'm pretty sure I got the Gryffindor version of this, which is red. Okay, it's like plasticky, that's fine. It's really cute. Again, I don't... <laughs> I meant to do that. Again, I don't know if this, you really need to limit this to the holidays. Oh, you know, I'm just noticing it's got like a wreath. Kind of in like the, the Hogwarts crest. Do you get on with that? I'm pretty sure you could like just take this out just any old day and I don't think anybody would be the wiser. This doesn't scream holiday to me. It really doesn't. It's a nice little candy dish. Yeah. You put like your keys in it or something. That's fine. That's it's not terribly holiday-ish. That's that would probably be my biggest complaint about it. Got another pen. Um, I usually don't get that excited about enamel pens. Like they're in a lot of boxes. If it's something I really like, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I might put it on my bag or something like that. For the most part, they just kind of like stay in their packages. But I have to say, they make some really nice enamel pens. And I don't think anybody could really disagree with that. Like, their Horcrux series was, it was off the hook. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, I think it's Buckby. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I think it's written right here. I like that. Oh, I love, love Buckby. Again, like, Prisoner of Azkaban. All time favorite. In that scene where Harry, uh, ooh, 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 we got a pen. Hogwarts is best. That scene where Harry writes Buffy, it's it's my absolute favorite. Like I love the way it happens. Like everybody else takes a step back. And, like, it looks like Harry's the only one's volunteering. I'm like I've been in that situation before. I really have. It kind of happened to me earlier today. By the way, <laughs> like just no one else was willing to step up, and I'm like. I'll do it. Okay, this looks really pretty. Um, this kind of makes me think of like just the packaging, like a little Christmas gift. So that's about the like most holiday themed type thing I've really noticed so far. Oh, is there snow in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says nine and three quarters, and then it's the train to Hogwarts. Hogwarts is here. And there's snow in here. That's kind of cool. You know, I saw somebody else's unboxing. I think their train like wouldn't move, but mine just did. Yeah, there we go. And do they have a little? No, they don't really have London depicted on the other side. Um, I'm actually originally from Orlando, so I've been to the, the Harry Potter world several times over there. And I've been on the Hogwarts Express many times. And that one's fine. It it gets a little itty bitty stuck sometimes, but it's really interesting. They're 
There's seriously snow in there too. Although the snow is kind of like accumulating on one spot. I think maybe you gotta like shake it up a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty. I'm probably like just gonna kind of like keep it. That's packaging. It's fun on my display. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. A little light, I guess. This is the thing I think I I really like out of this one. Um, I think I kind of like the other box better. I like the paperweight and the uh, the journal. Just the way they catch the light, I think, is really, really pretty. And I kind of appreciate that there was a shirt in there, like something I can use. I think this is my favorite item from the holiday box. My biggest complaint of the holiday box is most of it didn't seem to don't really seem to be holiday related. Please forward all gifts to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. That's really cute. I'll probably like put that up at work next year. I'll have to wait till next year. But... My tears off. I love you. Okay, the, that does have a strong scent. Yeah, I think, like, maybe they, someone else had done their video of this. I think maybe they, like, were in a hurry to put these out. Yeah, this has, like, a, like, finishing type smell coming off of it. And it's not horrible, but I, I definitely can smell it. So for, like, honestly, that's... That's the only item that really says they're holiday to me. This is super cute. It if it didn't have the snow particles in it, which I barely noticed, I like, wouldn't really know it was holiday themed. This I like. Took me a while to notice that there's a wreath in there. Um, that's not at all. I like it, but. This is cute. I mean, who doesn't like a Harry and Ron sweater thing? Did I get like a spoiler thing in here? I don't think I did. Maybe this, this says like a PD, this is an email with like a spoiler PDF in it, but maybe that was because there wasn't one in here. Okay, so honestly, I'm happy to have all this stuff. I think the holiday one's a little over underwhelming. This is just kind of, the sign's really cute. I think the Hogwarts pen's really cute. This is very thin, and it's not it's not the like coziest material. Like almost wish it was like felt more the way it looked like the sweater yarn type fabric. Uh, I like the pen. Uh, I, I wish there was like another item in there or something. I wish it was more more just kind of something. The holiday one I definitely find underwhelming. If I would have known like that's what was going to be in it, I Maybe wouldn't have spent my money on that box, but it's done. It's okay. The the Lumos Knox box, on the other hand, I actually honestly honestly do like. It this one seems more in line with what I've gotten from them previously. They have the really nice design on the box. It didn't go down to this part the way the older ones did, but I do like that it has like a design that reflects the theme of the box, which they'd always done in the previous ones. I like the fact that it has a shirt. I feel like this adds some value to the box. I feel like it's worth, you know, at least like $20, $25. So it takes up a lot of like the value of what you pay for. I think this is really cute, really cool. I think it's original. It's got some weight, it's got some substance, like I will probably pay some money, you know, 
what, like 18, maybe up to 20, like at the Wizarding World. So I kind of feel like I'm like getting my money's worth with those items. The journal, I think, is super cool. I really like it. I think it fits the, I probably wouldn't usually want to use the gel pen, like on these sort of silky pages, but I think it fits with the theme really well. So like I get the reasoning and I just noticed it has like the little uh, butterflies design down here. It's cool. I haven't seen anything like this before. And I like the fact that it's licensed and everything like that. I like the fact that they gave me a gel pen. I feel like I feel like the value is here more of this one, and I feel like it's more in line with what they've done in the past. And by the way, these enamel pens are like ten, twelve dollars at the park, so that kind of adds to the the value as well. This is not something I'd probably purchase all by itself, but now that it's in the box, I like it. Yeah, I think I have really orange eyes though. Candle in the background or something. Um, now that I have it, it's cool. I think I'm gonna leave it this way, but I, I do like a cool liner, so it's kind of cool. That there, it's like there's a little secret, like a uh, dark mark in there, like your little Death Eater in disguise in the closet or something. I'm glad I got the Lumos Knox one. I'm glad it finally came. I'm definitely going to put this on my desk, the Dumbledore quote. I like it a lot. I do. The shirts, I feel like they said the shirt was uh, glow in the dark. And there's like, um, there's like constellations on here or something. So if this is glow in the dark, that will kind of add a little, little coolness factor to it as well. I don't know if this is like my all-time favorite shirt, but but it is interesting. I like it. Um, it is Gryffindor. So yeah, I I personally need a thumbs up on the Lumos Knox box, holiday box. I like it, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's cute. I, I'm glad it finally arrived, but just underwhelming, I think, is the best way to describe it. I think my biggest problem with the fact is that it just really doesn't doesn't have anything that's really like that strongly themed with holidays. So I feel like they could have done more of that. Like in, in the holiday theme direction. Okay, that's it. Um, if you have ordered from this company, I hope you got your boxes. I already canceled because of the extraordinary um, pushback with the the shutout dates. I think they are still taking subscriptions. You can usually get huge discounts with them. 30% sometimes more. Um, they Right now it doesn't seem like they even have a theme. Like I kind of checked on their website to like check on, I was checking on my shipping dates and stuff that kept getting like pushed back. It just says wide road to Diagon Alley. Like why not just order a box, which doesn't really sound like a theme, but it's like order by March to get this theme. And it's kind of like, yeah. Like it just says instead of going Diagon Alley, like order a box from them. I'm like, is there a Diagon Alley themed box? I'm not sure. So I think we're gonna definitely hold off for now. People probably will think I'm crazy if they can kind of get their act together and I see them doing some interesting themes and I can see that they're like getting the boxes out um in a more punctual manner. I might consider resubscribing, but I'm definitely going to hold off for right now in the meantime. So I hope that was helpful. And um, yeah, namaste. Peace out. Also, bye.